They have really knocked it out of the park with this game. I love how you could go from underwater swimming to intergalactic space battles to building just like a nice calm base on the side of some hill. It is just beautiful. <laughs> right now I'm trying to protect this ship from hostile pirates and well definitely slowly doing a good job. But look at that. Look at the size of this ship. And the best part is that you can have one of these ships and you could put a base on it. Yeah, I'm really telling these pirates what, what's what right now. They they did not expect me to just pop out out of nowhere. You know, sometimes that just happens. Man, it's insane. Look at, look at how they've done space. I feel like if you need a space game, this is what you want. And you want something that is just like peaceful and just exploring the unknown is... No Man's Sky went from like this flat, just like game full of like full of nothing. That's what I would call No Man's Sky when it was released. And now it there's so much to do. It's like it's interesting because there's like an infinite number of things to do, but like you kind of just pick and choose, you know. Ooh, we're almost done with the last pirate here. They are dead. Look at that. Civilian fleet saved from pirates. At first, I, I read this as please YOLO for reciprocal aid. And I was like, I don't think you want me to YOLO for your aid. I don't. That doesn't sound like what you want, but that's not what they had. Yeah, and this is the inside of the ship. Look, you could just have an entire base inside of here. Not here. And I couldn't show you a base because I don't have one. I don't know why I don't have one. Yeah, I started building a base inside the ship and then I think I just didn't like it and I never rebuilt another one. I just deleted all of it. I wasn't too sure what was going on in my head at the time, but you know. I guess I started having an existential crisis when I started looking at the size of the ship and the size of the base and how your base could like look out into the stars and I was like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, speaking of existential crises, taking this, right? So this is a crashed ship similar to the one that we were just trying to save. Let's see what message they have for us. Log extraction complete. It began with an idea, a simulation, for Corvax wished to know what would happen to the universe in the future. They wanted to confirm what had occurred in the past. We were part of their great effort delivering vast quantities of nanite clusters across the galaxy. The simulation shows me my child as if they were alive, taking their first steps for a second time. It shows me their death. It shows me my own. I asked the Kovax to stop this. They refused. The Kovax shut down their machine. The experiment is over. They claim the universe is multiversal, cyclical, and without origin or endpoint, at least based on available data. In some worlds, they might be Corvax, in some, no gek. In some, we never existed, or if we did, we destroyed our world long before other galactic powers could find them. I do not like the tone with which the co- Alright, well that was my showcase of the new No Man's Sky, and more specifically, how good the pre last update was. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to show you all is look at how good these volumetric clouds look. It feels like a like an actual planet now. I love it. Even though they're, you know, almost entirely empty because there's an infinite number of them, effectively. Still though, you could make it not empty. I mean it's not empty. Look at that. There's a building right here. And at this building there is some strife. They do not like I started shooting at them. I, I don't know why. They, they got really upset. They got really upset. But these sentinels, well, I have a gun. So realistically, they're going to struggle. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like it if you like it. And comment on why if you disliked it. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right. So take care.